So, look next right yeah so this is hey guys this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video and then in this video we're going to design the dashboard for the iPhone X so we are going to use the iPhone X in the Adobe XD okay cool but first of all you can go to the Adobe XD to get uh, UI kit for the Apple iOS and currently I'm using the iPhone X so I close this and then this is the iPhone X UI kits that we can use in the project cool now I'm going to find the design for status bar okay here we go we got it and just copy and press here and move to the top okay and after that I want to uh, create the background but actually we able to change the background by click here and then looking for a good background that we can use okay I will use black very nice and we're going back to the UI kit again to get this button and I'm press here and here we go but I think that we have the margin right okay okay and after that I will create the text here as the header title so here dashboard okay and we're going to change the color to white color and I'm using the half vertical name with the semi bold or medium and the font size is 28 now we are moving to the left 1, 2, 3 ah oh, sorry only 2 mm, 3 and then the margin top is 20 and I think I have to increase by 32 so this is 30 no 20 okay and after that we have to calculate this width so I'm using the calculator so the total width is 375 we divide by 3 sorry we divide by 2 minus by 60 so one column will get 127 so we're going to create rectangle here and here 127 okay and the height maybe 100 okay 140 and I'm going to create the radius is 8 okay and after that I will get the margin top is 30 and then I want to group this and change it to the item and this is for the background oops we change it group and background and then I'm going to use the gradient color without border this is the linear and the first color it should be orange and then the second color is orange but we can copy this hex code and we can move to be orange and yellow and orange and after that I have prepared the icon for the menu so that we can use it but I will make it small maybe 32 yeah it's enough and after that I will create the title of the menu so here uh, main location and I will use like and font size is uh, 18 okay it's enough and group it ok 
Oke, okay, cool. Now we have this label and we have this icon. I'm trying to make it to the center. Uh, we have to ungroup this first. And I can enable to select this. Mm, right. Uh, you have to ungroup this. And then make to the middle. Okay, it's middle already. So after that, I will copy this item and move here. Okay. But I think it's too, uh, I mean, it's too far for the distance that actually we can increase. So what I gonna do here, just increase like this and then I wait okay like this and then group all of this layer again we repeat the last steps and I'm trying to copy okay well done so it looked like nice right so the second column that we able to change other colors so I'm going to use blue okay and of course I can replace the icon to the other icon so this is 32 and then I will put here nice so we can do nice 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 and this we can copy and we can see the distance is 25 oops the distance is 25 so the distance top is also 25 first of all I want to change the color and repeat repeat again okay well we have designed like this but I think the iPhone is too long so I think I can decrease the height like this one two three four one two okay so we can decrease something like this nice and after that i will duplicate this but first i will change the name to screen a and then i will divide by screen sorry i will duplicate by screen b okay and in the screen b that we want to change first here I want to change here to the back okay and of course actually we need the icon to go back let me find well actually that we able to use this uh, left accessory just copy and then we're going back here and here we change to uh we change to the details and we pass here yeah but of course we have to move here the details like this okay nice and in the parent title that we can replace it as the dashboard and this icon can we change it yeah can cool okay and then mm, wait let me looking for the UI kit mm, can we just remove the title okay i think i have different way so i'm going to remove this and this is 20 and this is 20 like this okay so there's no title only uh, only the menu to going back so i will copy this and sorry 
copy this and this and then I have to resize the rectangle right but first I will duplicate this and in the rectangle one that we can use white color sorry it's not linear it's solid color we have to resize okay okay nice you can make like this oh 315 so here 315 nice okay and double click to change it the radius so okay now don't double click you click here and here just zero and then here zero and then we select this main location to resize and make to the middle and center and after that I want to add the description here okay, so just T and you can write anything that you want to write but first I will setting the color of the label Uh, okay wait it sorry in my that we can edit just enter and change the color my location is menu that you can allow okay so actually I write like this but yeah actually it's only a sample that we can use it in this design so just your dummy content okay and I will change it to 18 with the Helvetica name and this is light and with that we can get the spacing to one and the line height should be 26 And then I want to duplicate this and edit it to information and change to regular. Okay. Wait, I have to setting. Okay. And in this color that we can change like this. And in the like that we can make it thin information and then I will create the button that allow the user to click settings so we're going to create it and change the color to be blue no the color it have to be depends on the content if we are messages then the color is blue okay and I will group it and remove the border and change to 100 now you have the button here nice and make it large like this okay and I will add the label here uh, settings setting now and this is to be regular and the color have to be white color okay let me zoom in and then make it to the middle okay and after that in the button that we can copy the hex code to make a shadow like this but it doesn't appear clearly so I have to increase the opacity to 20 uh, 30 and the blur 10 so it have to be see clearly okay and after that we are going to make the prototype for those screens so we're going to prototype 
and I am going to click here and then I have to set in the transition so I will use select left okay with the easy in and then in the dashboard that we can here select down easy out okay cool now we can test it in the prototype here oh look nice right yeah so this is how can we design the dashboard and the menu with the adobe hd more easier than before thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment share with your friends nice to meet you from indonesia goodbye